Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, I'm Maura Nabila Dwi Farah A biology student at Andalus University from KBI class Today I will dissect tilapia fish or Mozambique tilapia to observe the various outer and inner system of this fish including integumentary, muscular, respiratory, digestive, circulation, nervous, and skeletal system. Next is preparation. The tools we need include scissors. Here I use surgical scissors. If there are no surgical scissors, you can also use ordinary scissors as long as they are sharp. Then a sharp cutter knife. Here I also use a cutter knife to make it easier to split the bottom fish. Then tweezers made it easier for me to pinch and separate the parts of the internal organs. Then I used a mask, laboratory coat, hand spoon, surg surgical tray, styrofoam as a base of uh, to dissect the fish. And we have colorful pins for pinning parts on the fish so that they are clearly visible and not moving while dissecting. Then there was a tissue and a cell phone as a recording device. And the material we will use is tilapia fish. You better know general information about this tilapia fish. Uh, Mujair is a fresh water fish commonly consumed by Indonesian people. Tilapia fish have a great tolerance for salt levels or salinity, so they can live in brackish water. This type of fish has a relatively fast growth rate, but after adulthood, this speed will decrease. The natural distribution of this fish is African waters, and in Indonesia, it was first discovered by Pak Mujair at the mouth of the Serang River. South coast of Blitar is Java in uh, 1939. This fish closely related to Oreochromis niloticus, originating from Africa. Next, we will go into the first discussion, which is about the alimentary system. The integument is the outermost part of the fish as the body's dressing system. The integumentary system is in fish has several functions, including protection against mechanical, physical, organic disturbance, or adaptation factors that affect them in their life. Mm -hmm. Including protection against other animals that are enemies or predators. Fish body is divided into three parts, namely the head, trunk, um, the body, and the tail. On the head, there is an operculum or gear cover. It's hard but flexible here. Its function is to protect the gills. Here's the gills, you can see. And also plays a major role in the pumping mechanism. We can see that there are various kinds of fins on the trunk, including the interior dorsal fin here and the posterior dorsal fin, which are on the dorsal side. So the soft dorsal fin, which is between the bones of this dorsal fin. Next is spectral fin, which function to move forward, sideways and still break uh, or breaking, and to turn left and right. Pelvic fin uh, here. Pelvic fin or ventral fin, which is located on the belly of the fish, serves as a balancing tool so that the fish position is stable. Important of dorsal, pectoral, and pelvic fin is to assist in the turning movement and reduce uh, the rolling over the fish. Next is the anal, anal fin which is here, here it is the anal fin which is located behind the anus, 
erase the anus. Okay, here is the anus. This fins help the fish swim stability and control when moving around. In addition, there is a streamlined body or lateral sensory line on the trunk. You can see here, it's the streamlined. It is a groove along each uh, side of the body with many tiny openings to the outside that's sensitive to vibration uh, in the water. It is made of sensory cells to detecting vibration that are caused by waves and other movement of the water including movement of the predator. And the last but not least is the tail. There is caudal fin here. Here is the caudal fin. The base of the caudal fin is called the caudal peduncle, which, which is equipped with strong swimming muscle, which function as a propulsion like a motor on a ship. The caudal fin on the tilapia fish is of the truncate type, the upright H. Here you can see the H of the tail. It's truncate type. This type of fin serves to turn quickly and there are the scales here is the scales okay got it and here is the scales this scale of this type are circular or oval in shape and the outer edge is smooth here you see the tilapia uh, scale type these scales are arranged in a backward direction which allows a smoother lower flow of water around the body and reduce friction under the scales there is skin that is always wet due to the markers produced by goblet shaped cells next discussion is about muscular system. To see the muscles more clearly, I will cut the fish like this.
is the muscles you can see like the line of his muscles so you can see the epaxial and hypaxial muscle here so this is the epaxial muscle in the above and in the bottom is the hypaxial muscle the epaxial muscle um, can act through the cranial vertebral interface to dorsally rotate or elevate the necrocranium relative to the vertebral column. These are um, only muscles that cross the cranial vertebral joint and can generate cranial elevation. And the hypoxial, you can see in the bottom, is muscles that can act through the heel heel pectoral interface to re to retract the pectoral girdle which in turn depress and retracts the heeloid apparatus in lower jaw next is myomere and myotones um myomere is this line you can see the line white line uh, in this fish yes this line is myomere myomeres are the blocks of skeletal muscle tissue that are commonly zigzag like v or w as in foot uh, vertebrates shape muscle fibers the function of the myomere muscle is to bend their processor bodies from side to side to provide locomotor force Undulatory swimming in fish is powered by segmental body musculatures of the myotomes. So you can see in the middle of myomere is myotomes, like this, myotomes, here. Power generated by this muscle and the interaction between the fish and the water generate a backward traveling wave of lateral displacement of the body and caudal fin. Next is sternohyoid muscle. Based on its size, this muscle uh, can potentially contribute to overall power required for suction feeding. Um, the sternohyoid muscles is in here. To promote like a uh, uh, contribute to the overall power required for suction feeding like chewing so the muscles is from here so this is the sternohyoid muscle this muscle is really contribute to overall power required for suction feeding like open the mouth so uh, the power to open the jaw is from this muscle you can see here this is the muscle Okay, the third discussion is about digestive system. It's starting from the head. This is the mouth. This. This is the mouth. There is a mouth uh, uh, in the mouth uh, which there are feet and thumb. You can see the the teeth is quite sharp and the thong here you can see there it's the thong teeth are used for piercing and holding the food much like the canine teeth found in dogs or humans the function of the thong is to transport food quickly into the pharynx and then through the esophagus into the stomach maybe we can cut the operculum first you see here it's 
not really clearly. It's here. So this is the stomach. This is the stomach. Here is the... This white is intestine. This is intestine. This is the liver. I guess this is the filler seeker. It's near the intestine. So actually the function of filler seeker of fish has been uncertain since their detailed description by Aristotle. He suggests three hypotheses about their function. It is to store up the food, putri putrify it up, and concoct it. Or we can say this is for storage, fermentation, and digestion. Here is white. The main function of the intestine is to digest and absorb feedstuffs. In addition to digesting and absorbing and absorbing feedstuff. The intestine is critical for water and electrolyte balance, endocrine regulation of digestion and metabolism, and immunity. After being digested and absorbed in the intestine, the remaining food substances that will be excreted will be accommodated in the rectum. The rectum is must be at the end of this intestine maybe here and then it will be excreted through the cloaca or hole i think it's cut it here here's the anus or cloaca it's not quite clear you can see here it's this this is the cloaca the fourth discussion is about respiratory system first of all fish takes water through its mouth through its mouth and out through the upper Coulomb. So it's out through the upper coulomb or the gill cover, forcing the water over the over the gill. The direction of the water is maintained by the opening and closing of the mouth. Here it's closing of the mouth. which can change the pressure inside the buccal cavity. The floor of the mouth can move up and down to increase the pressure and force the water down through the gills. Here's the gills. I cut it. The structure of the gill consists of gill filaments which increase surface area of for gas exchange. So you can see the gill structure here. This is the gill filaments and the white, this bold white is gill arc. And this tiny structure here, like teeth, is the gill rakers. Here.
Next is the swim bladder or air sac. Here, the air sac. This large swimming bag with a white pneumatic channel serves as an accessory respiratory organ. Fifth discussion is about circulatory system. We can see the dark color organ here. Here. Very dark color organ here. It's the spleen. It acts primarily as a blood filter and plays important roles in regards to red blood cells and the immune system. Next is heart. Um, maybe we can cut uh, these organs to see the to see the heart clearly. Actually, fish heart is divided into several parts, atrium, ventricle, bulbous, arteriosus, and sinus venosus, but I think it's not too clear. Next is the vein in the artery. The artery is like a red thread. You can see it once again. It's there. This is the artery here. Color of artery is red, while the veins are blue. So actually, there is a vein here because it's like there's a black, black thread there. That is the vein. The vein color is blue, so that is much like a black hair so that's the vein next discussion is about nervous system the main nervous system in a fish is the brain first we need to cut the upper head fish it's here so you can see the brain and the nerves that attached to the brain clearly so actually I had cut the fish uh, upper head but I think I failed so I lost the brain and I found it here one part of the brain we know that brain half uh, cerebellum and the optic lobes and the cerebrum I don't know if this is the cerebellum or the cerebrum so I'm sorry it's kind of failed to see the full brain of the fish but I found it this is the nerves that attach to the brain this is like this this is the nerves that attach to the brain this white 
and this is the eyes and so actually there is a olfactory nerves here but I can't find it it must be he up here olfactory nerves is attached from the cerebrum into the nostril there is the nostril So under the nostril there is a olfactory nerves as the primary processing of odor information. Also this optic nerves is responsible for the light reflex and the accommodation reflex and also the perception of brightness, color, perception and contrast are all possible because of the optic nerve because of this optic nerve the last discussion is about skeletal system starting from the head there is an upper jaw and a lower jaw here this is the upper jaw and the lower jaw at the mouth of the fish an operculum here that covers the gill and there is this school school here as the bony case of the brain of a fish and at the bottom of the head there are pelvic fin ray and pectoral fin ray on the trunk there is a ray of the anterior dorsal fin and ray of the posterior dorsal fin on the top of the trunk it's here anterior and the posterior at the bottom of the head there are pelvic fin ray and pectoral fin ray this is the pectoral fin ray you can see the bone here and the pelvic fin ray here then there is a back bone here is the backbone in the middle which is a bone structure that makes up the vertebral column then we have rib rib bone here it's rib bone which bones forming the thoracic cage and at the very bottom of the trunk there is an old fin ray that forming the fin behind the cloaca it's here Um, the next is the last skeletal system it is the on the tail caudal fin ray okay guys that's my explanation regarding the external and internal structure of mozambique tilapia fish i hope you all understand my short explanation um, about this fish and hopefully this video can enhance your knowledge about fish structure uh, to those who watch this video thank you so much for uh, your attention assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh